Hey guys, welcome back to Life with the Beckers. Today we have Miss Picasso over here painting. She's a Picasso Becker. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we have an unboxing of a paint set. Yay! So we'll check out the Becker bullets and we'll get artin. <laughs> was going to sit down and start filming for a video, but Petunia decided that instead it's time for snuggles. So now we're going to do some of that instead. Oh yes, who's a part of my shoe? All right, guys, so here we have the acrylic paint set, 75 piece set. It's from the company Ezrich on Amazon. So we're gonna go ahead and get that unboxed and check it out. All right, so we have a little mixing tray here two sponges, two different size palette knives. It looks like there are four and a five. I honestly don't know what that means, <laughs> but I imagine it correlates to their size. And there's, looks like two sets of the same set of brushes. And then it looks like we have here all the paint. Yes, Tony, you're a good unboxing assistant. Ta-da! <clears throat> I picked this set because it has a lot of the regular colors, like what you would look for, but it also has like some silver, bronze, gold, copper, um, some metallic colors, so I thought that that would be really fun to have some of those other metallic colors as well as some of the regular um, different colors. And we hopefully will be learning to make all the different colors possible with what we have here, but this is definitely a good easy start with a lot of different colors, so I definitely am glad that we got this set. And then lastly here, we have an acrylic painting pad. So this set came with a pad with 10 sheets of paper but it's supposed to act kind of like canvas so that you can test the paint colors and different like brush strokes and things like that without having to actually use like a real canvas so that's a good little starter kit that we found online so that we can try painting some different things so now we're going to test out some of the colors on this which is just a 3d printed spool that we are not using anymore so we're going to test it out it has a lot of different faces, so it'll give us a chance to paint a little bit of each color and kind of see what it looks like compared to the white, so that'll be good. And then here's the colors that we're going to test out. And this is the brush that I decided to use. It seems to be the best for painting a small, like, rectangular space. And it's pretty soft. It was a little crunchy at first, but after I uh, pushed it a little bit, then it's nice and soft. And then here is one of the palette knives up close as well. I'm probably not going to actually use it, but just in case I need it, I'm going to keep it out. all right 
so here we have the first round of paint that's totally dry. So those are the metallic colors there. And then we have kind of our skin color and then some of your more basic primary colors and green and black. So now we're on to the second coat to see what it looks like. Monkey. Here is <clears throat> our results from our second coat of paint. So the green did a little something weird. Not really sure what's wrong with that, but um, definitely could use another coat. The blue is nice and thick, but not the most even coat. So, you know, could have been better on my part. The black looks really good, I think. Then we have our gold, the silver bronze and then copper. The copper is very pink so maybe that would look better as like a highlight color on something instead of just that straight color. Um, maybe something like a gray um, like primer underneath or something. But I do think that the other three look pretty good true to color. Gold, silver, and bronze. Skin color is a little interesting looking to me. Um, but maybe again with the right background it looked better. Then we've got our yellow, nice bright yellow. So it looks pretty good. Like I said, could have been a better paint job on my part on some of them, but overall I'm definitely pretty happy with the color and the pigmentation and uh, learned a lot as far as painting some 3D printed items uh, from the little test, so that was good as well. So there we go, ta-da! All right, so here we have our very adorable Life with the Beggar's License plate cover designed by Jesse, and I'm going to paint the lettering and the little decals so that we can see them a little bit better. Paint them with some black acrylic paint and we'll see how that looks and how it lasts. <laughs> Here is our freshly painted and dried license plate cover. So two layers of paint here, no protection or anything like that, but just the acrylic paint on the POA license plate cover. Check this out guys. This is after nine weeks of being on the front of my car. And we did two layers of paint and we didn't cover it with anything. So it's not protected, it's just the paint. So that's kind of what it looks like. Quick little unboxing for you here. We have the Master's Brush Cleaner and Preserver. We got this from Amazon because we have some acrylic paint brushes and we wanted to make sure that they got clean. So we have a dirty brush right here. We're gonna test it out. Hmm. So it says you just get the brush wet and you just swirl it around in there. Oh, nice. Smells pretty good. Seems to be working really good. Here's a fresh piece of paper towel. Oh, ah, nice and clean after using black. Although, 
this is dirty now. So I'm just going to wipe that out. Definitely does not smell bad, but it does have an interesting smell, kind of like a, I'm not sure, like a lemony smell, kind of. It smells like a cleaner. Oh, nice. So now I was able to just wipe it pretty much clean. Let me put the lid back on. And this is supposed to be used for oil paint, acrylic paint, or watercolor paint. And if it's really old, hard paint and you can't get it clean, then you can lather this up on there and leave it for a few minutes and then try to get it clean. So hopefully we won't uh, have any brushes with hard paint on them, but you know, life happens. So that will make um, cheaper brushes nicer and it'll keep your um, nice brushes nice. So just a nice little handy thing to have if you have any paint brushes in the house. Oh, I hope I don't art on anyone. Art, art. <laughs> Here, here's my review on the paint, guys. Okay, here's the review. Um, it works good on 3D prints. It works like acrylic paint like you would expect. And um, that's about it. Woo! <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining us again. And uh, like, subscribe, share. Um, if you want your own paint set, there's a link in the description. All that good stuff. And also for that... Yummy smelling stuff. There's a link for that too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks again, you guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.